A lot of people have been asking me what settings I use for machining aluminum with the Shapeoko 3, so I'm going to tell you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Ten thousandths of an inch on the depth per pass. I have found if I even push that up to fifteen thousandths of an inch, I can have some significant problems in machining. That parameter alone seems to have the most effect on whether or not the, so that limits the, the size of the bite. I don't tinker with the step over very much. It doesn't really seem to matter. Feed rate of 10 inches per minute or less and plunge rate of 7.5 inches per minute or less. Another factor that doesn't really seem to matter is the RPM. I just kind of leave it at the maximum all the time. In the settings here, if you do, this is all carbide create, if you do the if you change the metal type, you change the material, you'll see that the settings will automatically change. So I say OK here, and then I go back to Toolpath, Edit. Uh, I've overridden these, but if I go to Edit here and I say Set Speeds Automatically, it will, it will update when I change this. I'll go back to the settings here. I go into this and I say, let's say it's soft wood. I say, all right, let's go back to the toolpath. Edit operation, look at that, see it changed everything. So it says, now it can take 35 thousandths of an inch in the depth per pass. Feed rate's higher, or plunge rate's higher. And it thinks that it can do more RPM. I found that actually if I change this back to aluminum, aluminum metal, see that there? The settings are actually pretty good. Now I found them experimentally because I was just playing around and, and just trying to make it work. If I go back to this you can see that it it changes the depth per pass to ten thousandths of an inch. It thinks that we can get away with the 60, th 60 inch per minute feed rate. I just tend to knock that down um, and if I understand correctly my router can't go to 15,000 rpm so I don't really think that that setting is relevant but I would go in here and override these instead of having it set the speeds automatically and I would knock all this down so what I t tend to do is 10 inches per minute or less on both of these parameters feed rate and plunge rate and then Ten thousandths of an inch per pass. I think it's just the maximum you can do. So I hope you found that helpful. Feeds and speeds for aluminum on the Shapeoko 3. Depth per pass, ten thousandths of an inch. That seems to be the key secret. And then feed rate and plunge rate less than ten inches per minute. That will give you what you want. And it doesn't hurt to use a little bit of lube. <laughs>